Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing a full face of Milani Cosmetics. I've really wanted to do a full face of one brand for like the longest time, but I've never had enough products to ever do that. And when I thought about the brands that I really wanted to do that for, it would have to be an affordable brand. I can't do like a full face of Natasha Denona because that would be like over a thousand dollars. So I did pay less than a hundred dollars for all the products from Milani that I didn't already own, but I do have enough to do a full face of Milani. And this is not going to be a first impression. I have tested these products out with the exception of like one or two products, one being like a mascara and the other one I think is a lip product. But for the most part, this isn't going to be a first impression. I really want to give you guys a review and just tell you how impressed I am by this brand and by the quality that you're getting for their price point. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. And if you want to see any more full face products videos in the future, let me know down below and what brands that you would like to see. Also keep in mind, hopefully this drugstore. <laughs> I definitely don't make any money from YouTube and I definitely don't have the kind of money to spend thousands on a full face, but I think this is such a great idea and a great idea to jump into an affordable brand. So if there are any other brands you want to see this from, let me know down below and if you aren't already i hope you consider subscribing hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a new video every monday through friday <sighs> okay so i brought back out the flower ears i haven't worn these in a long long time so let's go ahead and get started with primer just to let you know ahead of time this is going to be a talk through video odds are it's going to be a longer video so get a snack get a drink settle in I'm starting off with the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. I'm also going to use one of their sprays as a primer just because I love the way that it feels, but this is a really great silicone based primer. It feels, it's got like a little bit more tug to it than a few other silicone based primers that I've tried in the past, but I definitely think it is comparable to the Smashbox Primer of the name of which always escapes me and to the NYX primer. It's definitely cheaper than the NYX silicone primer. So if you're looking for a nice affordable silicone primer, I would definitely try out this one from Milani. And I always bring it down my neck just because I do always, not always, but almost always bring my foundation down my neck. So I really don't want to jinx anything, but Lately, my skin's actually been doing pretty well. I don't have a whole lot of active breakouts, and where I do have them, they've been basically just right here, and they're going already pretty well. Um, my under eye bags aren't too bad, so I'm actually going to use the um, concealer from Milani right after I use the setting spray. So let me go ahead. I like to use this as a priming and a setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last spray. This is Ah, I love this. This is a great dupe for MAC Fix Plus. You don't have to spend MAC Fix Plus money to get this. So, definitely. I've gone through at least like three of these. I love the scent. I love the nozzle on this. I just, it's so great. It takes so much self-control to not buy like five different backups of this because I know it's at my CVS I can always just go and buy it when I need it. One that I actually haven't tried as much they do have a dewy version on the setting spray I haven't tried that as much but as I do have it I will be using it towards the end of the video just to actually try it as a setting spray. So I'm just gonna let that dry down a little bit and then I'm actually gonna go in with my under eye concealer because the concealer that I got from Milani is actually kind of like a um it's in a pot let me grab it. I've got all the Milani products in here just so I could keep them all together. And here we are. So this is the Secret Cover Cream Concealer in 01 Warm Beige. This is actually a really great shade for me. Um, the packaging is okay. I kind of wish it was in a squeezy tube, but I, I do prefer concealers in squeezy tubes just because they're a little bit easier to deal with. Oh my god, I can't get it open. Oh my god, I can't get it open. 2,000 years later. We made it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. So we made it. 
Uh, the packaging is a little bit hard to deal with, but the concealer itself is actually pretty good. So I'm just going to take a concealer brush. This one's from Morphe. I'm not going to go either way about recommending Morphe. The products are super hit and super miss. Honestly, I have some brushes that I love from Morphe and I love the price. And then the vast majority of products from Morphe, I could do without. A lot of their bra a lot of their brushes shed like nuts and don't really work that well long term, but it's like out of one out of every 10 of their products works well. So if, if you like those odds, you know, jump in and try it. But personally, it's at the point where I'm not really going to try a whole lot more. Um, I'm happy with, you know, the only couple of gems that I was able to find. So I just applied that with a brush and then I'm just going to smooth it out with, this is a NYX sponge. I don't know if Milani has any like brushes or sponges. Uh, I couldn't find anything on their website, but if they do, let me know. I would love to find out if they have a nice sponge. I'm always going to look out for a good sponge. Now that my concealer is all set and ready to go, I'm going to jump in with the foundation. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I have shade number 3, Light Beige. I did try this foundation out a couple, not a couple of years ago, like a year and a half ago, and I could not find a shade that worked for me. And this was before I was using like a white mixer to help me out with foundation shades at the drugstore, but their shade range really is not great. So you have to work with it to make it work. So I use shade 3 light beige because the undertones work best for me, but I do have to mix in the white mixer. So normally I do like three or four pumps of the Milani foundation to a pump to a pump and a half of the LA Girl white mixer. And this works pretty well for me. I will say I am super impressed by how well this Milani foundation holds up against heat and humidity and sweat. I wore this to work a few days ago. I've worn it a couple of times, but I wasn't really impressed by how it holds up when I stay home because like I'm home, it's air conditioned, it's fine. But I wore this to work. I had to walk half an hour to the train station because it was super hot. It took me extra long to walk there. And then I get on my train, I take three trains to work, and then I walk, you know, two blocks from the train station to my job. I'm sweating, it's gross, I have a backpack on, and it still looked great. I worked throughout the whole day, looks great. I come home at the end of the day, I have to do the same thing in reverse, and it still looked amazing. I was so impressed, and I was just so sad that it took me so long to try this foundation out because the shade range was practically garbage like just I'll throw a picture up of the shade range right here it's not the best but if you can finesse a shade you know get a darkener get a lightener like I have to just make sure you get the undertones right because if you can get the undertones right then you can mix in a lightener or a darkener and it'll look good on you so I'm gonna mix in this lightener I'm gonna take a concealer brush if I can find it if it's not hiding from me um hello there you are I'll take a concealer brush from MAC and just mix this in together Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go, and I'm going to apply this with the concealer brush, but I'm going to blend it out with the sponge. This is definitely a foundation that looks better with a sponge than with a brush, because it is fairly full coverage, and you'll see that in just a second. Let's get this hair back. And since I did put my concealer on beforehand, I am taking just a little bit of foundation up to my under eyes to blend everything in. And I'm also taking it down onto my neck. When I am bringing a foundation down onto my neck, I do like to use a brush. This is the Sigma F80 because it just it's a lot easier for getting your neck area than a sponge is. Okay, so now that that is all blended out, I am now going to bake with a loose powder from Milani. This is the translucent light to medium powder in shade 01. So I think they have like two shades of this powder, if I'm not mistaken. I'll double check on the website. I'll link everything down below too if you guys want to check it out. I did buy everything either from the Milani website or from the Ulta website. So I'm just going to take this loose powder and just bake under my eyes after I pat out the concealer. I 
I also like to set my troublesome areas down here on my chin and right around my nose with the same loose powder. And I'll leave the powder around my eyes to set while I set the rest of my face. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using one of the face powders from Milani. This is the Multitasker Face Powder in 04 Light Tan. This doesn't seem like the fourth shade in a line to me. This seems fairly light. Um, so I'm going to use it today. You can lift this up and you've got like a little poof down here and a mirror. So the packaging is really cute. I just, again, it was this as with the foundation. I just don't think the shade range is really there. And I think Milani could do so well if they expanded their shade range since they're so affordable and great. Like if Maybelline and L'Oreal can do it, like I believe in you, Milani, <laughs> you can do it. Now that the base is all done, I'm going to go ahead and bronze. One of my favorite bronzers ever does come from Milani, and I've used this product for a few months already. This is the Milani Baked Bronze in 09 Dulce. This is such a great, subtle bronzer. Once again, it does come with like a little brush and a mirror. I don't like this brush, but it is nice to have a mirror in a compact. I like to use this brush from Morphe right here. But it's a super, super, super subtle, natural looking bronzer. Unfortunately, it's one that doesn't show up great on camera, but in everyday life, when you're at work or when you're just looking for something really subtle, it's an amazing bronzer. It's got like the perfect undertones. It looks like you just spent like a summer at the beach and you're just like, oh, look at me, like I'm all tan. <sighs> So I do bring this down my neck a little bit to bring it up here and then up onto my forehead. Okay, so now that we're all bronzed, I'm going to skip right on to blush because I don't really know of any contour products from Milani. If you know any different, please let me know down below, but I haven't seen anything other than like their regular bronzer products. For blush, I have a palette that I've been dying to try since I saw it come out. This is the Milani Rose Powder Blush Trio, and I have number two Floral Fantasy. So these are quite a few rosy, corally blushes. The other palette was very, very pink, and I really wanted to go for a more darker, like, movie kind of blush especially as we're moving into fall theoretically so i am just going to take my blush brush and i want to go into this middle shade right here these do appear a bit satin this okay so this first one is fairly matte these two do look a bit satin in texture and color but i do love the milani blush formula it's just so pigmented but also blendable and I think it's one of the best blush like formulas at the drugstore. It doesn't add too much it just adds just the right amount and they have so many shades out there I think one of I think if you don't try anything else try their blushes. Their blushes are incredible not only for the drugstore but just incredible overall. And I'm really happy with this palette. I might pick up the other one, but since I'm not that into pink blushes, I probably won't. But if you are, the palettes are awesome. Try them. The only place I've been able to find them is on their website though, so that's like the only downside. Hopefully they bring these into drugstores. I want to see this in CVS. Get on it. <laughs> Now for highlight. I did have a couple of options, but I went with the Afterglow Luminescent Strobe Light Highlighter. It's a full pan highlighter right here. It's a very um, pearly kind of highlight. I've just been really fascinated by their other compact formula since I've really only tried their like bronzers and blushes. So I really wanted to give their highlighter formula a chance. And I've used this one a couple of times. Look at it. Look at it. It is a beautiful formula. I do want to try out another shade or so from this collection. It doesn't seem like they have a whole lot of shades. <laughs> oh, but look. Yeah. It's insane. So I'm just going to add a little bit to my nose. A little bit to my cupid's bow and then i'm just gonna take a dual fiber brush and just blend that out a little bit 
This can get real intense real quick. <laughs> so before I move on to eyes, I'm actually going to jump into brows. They actually have their own like little brow pomade kit. This is the Dark Chocolate Stay Put Brow Color in shade number 8. At the um, website that I was looking at, this was the darkest color. I was really hoping that they would have a black, but I didn't see a black shade anywhere. If they had a black, I would have picked it up, but... We're gonna work with what we got. So they do give you like a double-ended brush with this with an angle liner brush on one side and a spoolie on the other. So I'm gonna basically use this the same way I use my um, ABH dip brow. I actually have a whole video all about maintaining brows for bushy gals. So if you wanna see that, I'll throw that up in the cards. So like I said in that video, I just take a little bit of the pomade on here and just kind of swipe it on the lid a couple of times. And then I go right in. This angled brush is like super firm, but I don't hate it. Like it's actually really nice for getting like that good crisp line out of your pomade. It's definitely a lot um, firmer of a brush than the ABH one. Ooh, they looking strong. <laughs> Okay, and now to set our brows, I do have a clear brow gel from Milani. This is the Brow Shaping Clear Gel. I've only tried this out a couple of times, but I do love the brush on this. It's the perfect size, the perfect shape. And so far, I've liked the formula, but when it comes to a brow gel, I really do want to put it like to the test. So I can't tell you like super for sure that I like it and that I endorse it because I'm still testing it out. But so far, it's actually doing pretty good. Pretty good. Now that the rest of our face is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the eyeshadow. What I like to do is, once my face is done, do my eyeshadow primer and then set my primer and then spray my entire face with a setting spray before I start my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do that today with the Milani eyeshadow primer. This is really such a great primer for an amazing price. Like, I think everyone need to try this primer out at least once. It's great. There's a reason Emily Noel like talks non-stop about this primer. So I just apply this with my fingers, pat it in, and then I like to set it just with a um, nude either face powder or eyeshadow powder. You don't have to set your eyeshadow primer. I know a lot of people don't like to, but I find that with my really hooded eyes, I have to set a primer. Today, to set my primer, I'm actually going to use the same face powder that I used to set the rest of my face. Now that I have my primer on and set, I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. So I'm going to spray on a layer of the Make It Last setting spray first, just because this does a great job of just melting all of your powder products together. This is the most refreshing setting spray ever. I'm so impressed by this for only like $10 at the drugstore. And then once that dries, I'm going to jump in with a layer of the Make It Dewy spray just to see how that helps the longevity and the setting. Oh, that one has even a nicer nozzle than the Make It Last. I'm surprised. Let's see. Oh my god, I love that. Oh my god, the combination looks amazing together. I don't know why I've never tried them together before. So I'm going to let this fully dry before I move on to my eyeshadow. Now that our face is like set and all dry, I'm going to jump into the eyeshadow palette for today. I picked up the Milani Bold Obsessions palette and I have to say, despite the fact that it's fairly neutral, I've been really impressed. So I've done a couple of looks at this palette. I'm really impressed by the mattes and the like satin finishes in here. The shimmers, I think they take a little bit of work, but they still look really pretty. So I'm just going to go for a fairly simple look today. I'm going to start with this light brown shade right here and throw that up in my transition with a big fluffy crease brush. Crease, crease brush. This is from Morphe. This is the M504. <sighs> Thank you. 
I debated whether or not to bring this product in because it would only be like the only not Milani product in this whole video, but I use it every time I do my eyeshadow and I know that since I have hooded eyes, I really need it. I'm gonna use the NYX Glitter Primer on my lid before I go in with my shimmer shade, which is going to be this beautiful gold shade right here in the middle of the palette. Now that the shimmer is all on my lid, I'm gonna go ahead and deepen up my outer V with this dark brown shade right here at the corner of the palette. Then on my lower lash line, I'm gonna take those same two matte shades that I used to just blend out the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the dark brown shade first, just on the outer third of my lower lash line and then I'm going to blend it all out with that lighter crease shade that I first used. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this bright shimmer shade right here in the palette and just apply that all over the- oh my god, that is bright. Oh, that is a beautiful shade. And I didn't put any you know, fix plus, I didn't put setting spray or anything, that's... I am sh I am very impressed by that shade, oh my god. So I'm gonna apply that as my inner corner highlight. Okay, and I think that's it for eyeshadow. So I did pick up a liner from Milani. Um, let's pick it up real quick. Okay, so this is called the iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. This is a felt tip eyeliner. I've used it once before. I feel like it's... A little hard to apply since the felt tip is so stiff but once it's on it's fairly bulletproof the only thing is that it's really hard to apply so it's not really something for beginners but if you have a little bit of experience I think you can make this eyeliner work really well for you so I'm gonna do my best to put this on Oh. <laughs> So I haven't attempted a liner, like a wing liner with this just because I feel like it's a little bit too stiff for that. But as like just a waterline eyeliner, I feel like it's really good. I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm gonna jump in with the Milani Lash Trifecta Lengthen Curling Separating Mascara. This is the only product out of everything that I have not used yet. So this is going to be my first time using this mascara. And I feel like the, the brush is a little, questionable so we're gonna see how it applies okay so I think the mascara just did okay generally I'm not a fan of mascaras that have this kind of wand just because I think this wand works better for if you don't have a whole lot of lashes and you're looking to separate them out for my lashes I have very like bunched together thick lashes so I feel like a thicker brush that really grabs each lash more and spreads them out works better than this one but I mean the formula seems okay so far it did extend my lashes a little bit but I didn't see too much of a curl with this now on to lips I can't believe we're almost done so this is the Milani Amore matte lip creme and I have the shade number one adorable this seems like a really nice light toned nude I've used it a few times before and I did like it so let's see how it looks with this look It actually matches perfectly oh my god this is such a comfortable formula it does say it's a matte formula and it does dry down a bit it's not totally transfer proof but I still think it's fairly comfortable I would definitely be willing to pick up a few more shades of this formula I do have one of the Amore shine ones I did not like this one as much I didn't want to put it on top of this because of that but I do think the Amore lap form Amore a lot pull the Amore Matte Formula is really comfortable. Okay, and that is our full face of Milani Cosmetics. I want to go ahead and say the products that I am really the most impressed by. Of course, the Make It Last Setting Spray, one of my favorites. Amazing. You know, it's good as Fix Plus, if not better than Fix Plus. You know what? Try this if you have not already. The eyeshadow palette, I know a lot of people were talking about it and hyping about it for good reason. It's a great eyeshadow palette. I think 20 is a 
bit steep for Milani. I think they could have done a little bit less, but I still think it's a great eyeshadow palette. It's got a great mirror and it can stand up on its own like this if you're trying to do your makeup in this one mirror. Really great. My last favorite product is the bronzer. It's been one of my favorites for a long time now. So subtle, so great. The only thing I wish is that they had a nice contour shade to go with it. If anyone knows of Milani contours, I didn't see anything, please let me know down below because that's I think that's the only thing missing from this brand right now is like a good contour palette. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.